In this lesson, we want to uh, create, a, for example, the box production line. As you can see, we have an animation in our cloner, in our box, that the box here is wrapping, okay? And we want to stop the animation of the cloner and give the control of animation to our field, to our planar, as you can see, with a box or linear or any field that you want. Or you can then control, uh, fix your planar vector, your box field, and as you can see, change the... Uh, position of your cloner and if any object reached the, the that field the animation will be play let's do this project okay let's create a cube and we want to um, separate the surface and then editable as you can see we have a surface here we are going to the surface or objects not important we delete that surface Okay, we want to uh, bring the exactly this pivot point here to animate that. So you can use tool and access and I explained them before, but don't bother you yourself. Select the enable the access tool, then enable the snap in the settings. We need a point and it's very simple. Click and drag and snap it here or an edge. Snap it here. Nice. Turn it off. Select another one. On. Click and drag. Snap it here. We want to just snap exactly at the bottom of the <clears throat> polygon. Turn it off again. Turn it on. Snap it. Select. Turn it off. Select it. Turn it on snap it there turn it off and as you can see all of our box are at the bottom because we want to when to rotate it we want to animate it like this exactly like this okay so we animate all of them at once or one by one going to the coordination uh, as you can see this is a uh, negative 90 negative 90 it's down yeah, negative 90. Nope. This one, 90. Test it. Fair, first rotate it. Yeah. We want to 19 that. To close all of them. Which one? Which one? Which one? This one. Negative 90. Yeah. We select all of them and uh, click this and this as a first frame. And then we can go to the this frame and open uh, uh, open them up. Select it. Open. It is negative. Uh, in, uh, I think it's the zero. K frame. This make it a zero. K frame. Make it a zero to bring its original position. K-frame, make it a zero, another K-frame, don't forget to K-framing them, select, nice, everything is nice, and you can do it one by one, don't worry about them. Okay, select this, you can, uh, you can have an offset to that. For example, here, you can make, make it offset to that, make it offset to this, make it offset to that, make it offset. I think it's better to, yeah, make it offset more here, little, select all of them and the K-frame, offsetting the K-frame. Nice. You, I want. Uh, I don't want to make a lot of time to making this, but you can do it. It's very easy. Nice. Let's see. Yeah, you can do it best, but uh, I just want to uh, explain the technical thing to you. So we want to clone it to create that line, holding all to clone them. As you can see, if you clone them, all of the uh, 
If you clone it, all of them will be open at once. And in a cloner, in an object, <coughs> we don't want to greet, we want to linear. Not in this direction, instead of that, yeah, in this direction, any uh, count that you want. And as you can see, we have animation. But we don't want to play the animation on a cloner. We want to control the animation with a vector, with a field. Go into the transform, and here is the animation mode. It's in a play. It means if you uh, play, if you have an animation on your object that you clone, it's played. I don't want this. I want to fix it. It means I don't want to play your animation. I want to control the animation with the fields. So we need a simple plane effector. In a plane effector, because I want to assign the field to that. Don't want to change its position. And instead of that, I want to... Uh, yeah, it's it's night. Nice. I want to change the time offset. I want to control the animation. If you want to control the animation of the cloner, that is it's fixed. It's the stop. It's a plane effector. You have to change the time offset. But but we need whole animation. You have to go to the last thing that you are. As you can see, the last K frame is very important because we want to cover all frame. Same fifty. So you have to go to the uh, this time and type the 50, the last keyframe that you assign, because we need full animation. If you assign it, for example, 10, as you can see, we cannot see full animation. So the last frame is very important. And why is animation is playing and it as the end frame? Because the plane effector in a field, we don't have assigned any field here. This is the infinite. We need, for example, a box or a linear, a box. Interesting, as you can see, you can, uh, you have a snap, turn off the snap. Um, you can go to the box and change the size, any direction that you want. Nice. And as you can see, if you, you, you don't need to play it. As you can see, if you if you uh, you can turn the um, remapping off to see it. As you can see, we can control the animation of the our cloner with this field. Nice. So it's simple and easy. And after that, you can go to your cloner and. Here our time. I think I, if I play it, no, no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry for that. Uh, we need to animate this uh, cloner to the animating cloner. We have to go something offset here. If you keyframe it here, and for example, go to the any frame that you want, and then offset it. Okay, from it here, then you can do it. Oh, sorry. Uh, in this case, because uh, we control animation with uh, field, you can animate field if you want. Because we um, give the field to access control animation, okay? So you can animate it if you want. So in this lesson, you learn a lot about the controlling the animation object that we clone it with a field. And imagine how interesting idea that you can do with this. Or, and as we can see, if you want your role will be animated, you can animate whole cloner, right? If you want to field to be uh, fixed, you can animate your cloner. Nice. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, 
you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.